here we go. Hi, everybody. I'm Peggy. I'm Laura. And we are Urban Booze. And we, of course, have our, our regular guest. I think we have to give her another name because she's been on, this is our sixth show. This is well, Karen. I'm Karen, but I'm not a Karen. She's not that kind of Karen. I'm not that kind of Karen. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to show you how we like to pair comfort food with wine, beers, and spirits. And today's episode, we, in this today's episode, we're exploring rosé. Rosé. That's why you see the very beautifully colored bottles that we have for you today. All right, so Laura's going to start because she is in love with the rosé that she has. Yes. I am going to say this, um, it's called Ruby Red Rosé. It is tasty, tasty, tasty. I had it the other day with salmon, salmon and broccoli. It was perfect. It was because it tastes like grapefruit and it just explodes in your mouth and it's just bright and fresh, not too sweet. Um, I think I'm going to try it with chicken. Is it dry? Is it dry? It's not, it doesn't have a lot of tannins. It's not too dry. It's not okay. painfully dry, mm -hmm. but it tastes like grapefruit. It's really good. And I neglected to say at the start, we, this is not, not sponsored content. We went out and bought this. I like this enough right. to buy it again. For our own money. Right. Hint, hint, own money. Anybody who wants us to try, I'm just saying. Right. So Karen, what do you have today? Oh, okay. So I have Champs de Provence. Oh, okay. fancy French. Woof, 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 woof. 16 dollars a bottle. It is, uh, I'm going to read the description and it's pretty, it's pretty spot on. Uh, notes of red berries, citrus, orange blossom, medium, full flavored, and hints of raspberry. And it is dry. So if you're not into dry, this is not for you. But if you're into dry, cheers. And you see my offers glass? Oh, it is gorgeous. It yeah. is beautiful. Peggy, how much was your bottle? Well, um, well, now I'll talk about mine. I have from France, Cote de Roses. Okay, don't kill me. I'm from the Bronx. Um, as, as, Girl, I'm from Queens. Don't even play. <laughs> <laughs> but I took Spanish. No, I'm not Corona Queens people. And he's on her. Hey, now, hey, now. Uptown, <laughs> uptown. Anywho, um, this is from France. This is the rose from France. Um, they'd say, well, you know. It says, you know, you should eat it with, it's an aperitif, and you can have it with shellfish or subtly spiced dishes, which ain't what we're going to do. Okay. <laughs> well, the other day, the other day I made um, palak paneer, which is a, a spinach Indian dish with, with uh, Indian cheese. It's very spicy, delicious. Mm -hmm. I shared it with a rosé. Not this one, but a rosé. And it was perfect. Because, mm -hmm. you know, spicy, you don't want anything ridiculous right and if you check um one of our previous shows when we first uh, had rosé what really got us excited about the rosé was what ro was that jambalaya that we had right the jambalaya we had yeah, made that jambalaya look in the description and uh check out that that video that was from vine box but this is interesting but i will say that with vine box we had three different regions we were trying spain mm -hmm. france and in italy and i gotta tell you I still kind of like the, the, the Spanish, Spanish ones. Yeah, the Spanish ones. But we, remember, we also had it with mofongo too, didn't That's we? True. Oh, oh my God. We had it with, with mofongo, Karen. And it was amazing. So, I found yeah. a guy that sells mofongo on, on, in a truck in oh. Melbourne, Florida. Yeah, girl. We were driving to my stepmother's house late at night. We were hanging out. And my, I, we were hungry. Of course, we were trying to find a place to eat good, find good soup. Good Caribbean type soup. Can't find it. So we're driving by the beach, by the intercoastal area, and we see this truck. The sign said, Mofongo. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Can't wait to go back. Can't wait to go visit my stepmother because, well, you know, once this pandemic is over, that mm. was so good. Of course, you know, my belly grew twice the size, but it was so good. You know? Wow. So, All right. It, it was dying. I wish I could remember the name, but it's in Melbourne. Well, I wish I wish I could find some good mofongo in Queens. It's a little different, but this, you know, this rosé is not as dry. I am not a dry girl, so you guys, if you want to kind of introduce yourself to some rosé, this this culte rosé, and besides that, a nice keepsake. Look at this. Look at this. I'm telling you, if you can get, if you, I know you like to do crafts and stuff, there's a a bottle cutter, 
and you could make, I mean, you can make, um, I can glasses. make a black glass. Make a, well, you can make, it, it, it's probably the side more of a, of a, like for whiskey and stuff. Yeah. That type of, but there, there's a bigger version to that bottle. Mm -hmm. There's a bigger one. Hmm. And, and you could put, make like a, a, a vase or something with it. Really cool. Really nice. Or you just put those lights in it and then put the glass cork back oh, on yeah. top. And then, and what I will say is that I bought this from Total Wines on, got it on online, Total Wines in Westbury. So if you guys, they have a wonderful curbside service. And I see, what's in this rosé? Grenache, Syrah, and Chin Salt. Okay, for those wine connoisseurs, it tastes good. I, I can live with it. I, you know, I might, I could buy it again. This one, you know, and we're working on our Urban Booze wine scale. So I'd buy this again. That's one of my favorites, the one you're drinking. Mm -hmm. This one is a product. This one's, a, this one's produced in France also, this ruby red. Really? Maybe turn, turn it around to the back to see what's going on. Yep, it's a French one. And, and, and just so you know, um, Côte de Provence mm -hmm. is, oh, is the largest province, well, you have to say it correct. It's the largest province in the wine <laughs> regions in South Eastern France, so okay. you know a little bit of. Uh, so when you see that, that's where they, that's where they come from. That region. Okay. So a lot of wines will say will say Provence, Côte de Provence. Well, a lot of says, the the road. This says Sud de France, south of France. So that's right. it. South, Sud de South. I get, I get that. Right. I so get this that. One? Let's see. Yes. And uh, yes, yeah, so alcohol content is fourteen point two percent. <laughs> well, you staying home, right? It's curfew time soon. You're not going anywhere. Oh yeah, yeah. Curfew's, we really, curfew's, really at nine curfews at eight o'clock in New York. I got dressed to go someplace in my head. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, instead of walking around in the shit that I walk. Oh, sorry. Well, look. While we're here, it's, it's still pandemic picks. Is it, you know what? We got to deal with what we got. We got to enjoy it. Of course, I I'm holding a glass totally wrong. Sorry, McBride sisters. Right, you learn how to hold the glass. It's like this, I right? Explain that. How did you say to hold it? You have to hold it. I know. Yes, and do you know why? Do you know why? So that our hands don't warm up. Don't warm up wine. the wine. Correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. we, we, Peggy and I have taken a class, and the, right. the fourth module is available now, so we can. Play oh, the fourth now. one. It oh. is. Okay. I learned, I learned that in, uh, when I went to Germany and my, my friend who owns a, a wine a liquor store in that region, somewhere over there, he, I, of course, me, my American self, I'm grabbing the bottle, the, the wine. No, it wasn't wine. I was drinking beer. And he said, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You'll get it warm. <laughs> Hold it by the stem. A, oh, that's see, that's interesting. You know, you learn a little bit from everybody that you know where they are in their their wine life. My thing is, I realized I had tried Sauvignon Blanc earlier this week, and I smelled the grass. I can almost smell the grass here, grass and citrus. I'm getting there, McBride sisters. You know, I'm getting there. I want to take that course because I smell wine. <laughs> well, just, just straight up um, citrus, straight up grapefruit. See, I no, smell no, citrus no. and I smell like some grassy notes. And that's only because of, you know, I think taking that test made you kind of open up your, your right. mind. Yeah. You why did you look for it? Mm -hmm. This is orange. Okay, I got to watch it because last night I was ridiculous. So what's ridiculous? Two glasses, three glasses, a whole bottle? What's ridiculous? Oh, wow. Normally I could drink two glasses <laughs> and not the wall, right, right, the bottle. Normally I could drink two glasses, but for some reason last night I, I it just knocked me out. Not I, this is just, so pretty. I mean, if nothing else, rose is pretty. Right. So it is pretty. So this is this glass, I told you guys, get some good glasses. Get maybe one for yourself <laughs> that you're gonna drink with, because you can buy them individually. This okay. is a or for or for uh, uh crystal from Sweden, and it has a beautiful leaf on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, this is like probably fifty dollars a glass. It depends. It, 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 it give or take. I don't, you know. But, but isn't that a, a flute glass for champagne? It is. But I, I thought I liked it, so it was pretty. <laughs> Another yeah. thing I learned from the class. <laughs> exactly. Drink, drink out of what you like. This is, this is. I'm sorry. This is a champagne glass. But 
I thought, you know what? Nah, I got to drink it out of this. It, it, it was pretty. But you know, like I told you last time, thrift stores, people get rid of all kinds of stuff they don't think they need. And I'm like, yeah, for me, save me some money. But you know, if you want to spend, so, it, spend it on your food, why not? Well, Karen, I thought it, okay. You know, you're, you're the stuff, you definitely have like that, a sophisticated palate of, with, with the, between the three of us. What ethnic food that is not written on a bottle that you think you would kind of drink with that, that nobody else would think about but us because we're... Is it this? Is the rosé? Yep. Well, what I, what I like about the rosé... Besides shellfish, you know. Oh, no! We can't hear you. You muted yourself. There you go. You're back. You're back. Yeah, it's not heavy like a red, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Well, heavy, heavy. Uh, but I think any it's uh, soul food. <laughs> yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you want ethnic? That's ethnic. Soul food, curries. You know, oh. to me, you know, any kind of spicy food, I think this will go good. My I, opinion. I would like a curry, like a curry chicken. Yeah. Curry chicken if you're eating roti. Okay. And you want. Well, popped in my head. Tacos, fish tacos. Tacos, tacos. Yeah, any any of those foods because they have spice in them. Mm -hmm. You know, hot spice. It's because it's cold and it's refreshing and it's right. you know it, it'll kind of like okay yeah right right cleanse right. your palate but not hurt you and and right. then get you ready for the next sip or the exactly. next bite. Yeah, jerk chicken, my go-to. Let it What's sit. That? That jerk chicken, let it sit in that jerk seasoning. Yeah, any of those heavy spicy. Flavorful meals to me, you know. Now, would you would you use this as a cooking ingredient? I don't know if I'd use a rosé, but uh, but I'm no expert, you know. I'd use a regular white wine for cooking. Okay. But again, I'm no expert. But I I don't think I don't I wouldn't use a rosé. No. <laughs> I might I didn't, if I absolutely didn't like it and, and spent more than ten dollars on it, it might go into yeah. something. Okay. Well, I don't know. If I spend more than ten dollars on a rose, I'm drinking it. I don't give a rat's <laughs> how bad it tastes. What? Right. I, I, I bought some, I bought some today. It was twenty uh, Publix, my favorite supermarket. It was another rose that was on sale this week, twenty three ninety nine for this bottle. But it was buy one get one. Okay. I decided not to drink it tonight. But yeah, if I had, to, if that wasn't way, the way I like it, I'd still drink it. I wouldn't put it in my food. I'll drink it. I'll, I will drink it until I like it. <laughs> I am you know? so jealous that you get a buy one, get one. I am so freaking jealous of that because I, I know, right? I, we don't get that here in New York at all. Look, sucks at living all. in New York. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I love New York and I miss New York. But yeah, no, I do. I do. But yeah, I know. Publix. Hey, now. Cheers to. Publix. <laughs> okay, let, let, let's give a cheers to Publix that ain't here in New York. Cheers. Yeah, I know, right? Damn it. Oh, Wegmans, but I don't know where in, in the city they have a Wegmans. They might do the same thing at Wegmans. They don't have, I, the Wegmans in Brooklyn doesn't have wine. They have beer. You guys got to, you got to fight to change those laws, those liquor laws. What are we going to do? I don't know. You're, you're, we'll be fighting the liquor, the local liquor, liquor stores. Right. Let's sit down. <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> Not over no wine. <laughs> hey, it's important. Look, I'm sure that somebody has got that 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 capital part on lockdown, and that's why right. we don't have we don't have the the different opportunity that you have in terms of trying different wine. I mean, we go into stores right now. The wine stores are owned by certain groups of people. Mm -hmm. If it's not Asian, they're Indian, and right. I think I found one that was owned by Russians, but you know, I mean, we don't we don't have those opportunities. But a lot of Indians right. own our shops here, but the laws are different. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's really the different laws, you know. But no, they don't offer buy true. one get one. No. Yeah, we can we can buy we can buy any kind of liquor at Wal Wal Walgreens Walgreens. Mm -hmm. You know, that's I'm a at Walgreens. Yeah, Fabulous. I'm so mad at that. So you know, you could be drunk all day long. <laughs> 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 Well, one thing on Walgreens in my area is beer. I saw beer. 
But that yeah, we had it. beer, hard liquor, you know, everything. You name it, they got it there. That's amazing. Even lime, even lime for your tequila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a next show. It's going to be tequila. Because there's a, um, yeah. yeah. Well, I got to yeah. buy some tequila. But Barbara I have to hide I've been it. in contact <laughs> with a, a guy who makes his own tequila. So we're trying to get a hold of that. So that'll be really interesting, you know. Oh, cool. But um, I mean, are there any rosés that stand out for you guys that you would that that we don't have here? Oh, I don't know. I had a rosé the other night, King's Staff, and I wish I kept the bottle. And that was really good. That's probably around fifteen to seventeen ninety nine a bottle. It's oh, called King's Staff. That was I because I had it the other day. I remember because I kept telling my husband. I said, "Man, this is really good." So that's that, yeah. Wow, well, you know what? I forgot to say how much this costs. I can't even remember. Laura, how much did I say that? That's probably like fifteen ninety nine for for that bottle. Mm -hmm. and, and that's usually mm -hmm. my limit in my my pandemic budget. That's a lot of money for me to be spending because oh, that fifteen ninety nine is, is is nothing to sneeze at, you know. Right. Yeah. Well, mine was all of ten dollars at. Nostrand wines and thirteen dollars at um at Franklin wines, but again, my, one of my favorites. I like. I really like this. I'll probably see if, if it ever goes on sale. I'll get a bunch of bottles and keep it around. But mm -hmm. the other one that I have that I like is the plain old two buck chuck. It's reliable. It goes well. Wow. It's a it's a solid middle of the road rosé. Well, you know, this right. one is better, but the two buck is fine. I've had some okay. wine from the road up. that weren't. You go ahead and stick with two buck chuck, not for me. Nah, <laughs> yeah, it just it don't even sound right to me. But anyway, yeah, yeah. guys, we're gonna wrap yeah. this up. We're gonna push mm -hmm. we're on in time, but you know what? We hope you enjoyed our take on rose, and we hope that you click that daggone notification button so you know when we come back every Wednesday. If you have suggestions or you know people who are wine makers, rum blenders, beer makers, let us know. We'll try it. We'll try it with our food. We'll post it on Instagram and Facebook. So until then, we are Urban Booze. We're exploring what's good. Hey, Sit oh, by. That's it. it. Oh, cheers. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay.